Dear students, I am Ahmed Noman Sadek. Today, I would like to discuss the latest changes regarding topographical assessment made by TFL in March 2023. Please note that all the information is based on the feedback and information provided by our students who recently appeared in the TFL topographical assessment. Dear students, Actually, this change is regarding the change of the book used during the assessment and also it is about the change in questions of the book portion of the assessment. So during this presentation, I would like to give you an overview of the changes regarding the book used during the assessment, also the changes in the main index of the book and the questions regarding the postcode of the areas. And please note that there is no change in the root drawing portion of the assessment. Dear students, please listen this very carefully that previously TFL was using the old edition which was the 17th edition of Master Atlas of Greater London. And it is shown in the left hand side of this slide. But now TFL has started using the new edition which is the 18th edition of Master Atlas of the Ma Greater London. And it is shown on the right hand side of this slide. Please note that this new edition is easily available in the market like WH Smith. Also it is available easily online. So this was regarding the change of book. And now I would like to discuss the changes regarding the questions of the book portion. Dear students, during previous assessment of TFL, there were several sections in the book portion and then in each section there were some questions. For example, there were the questions from general index to the states, places and areas of interest from Master Atlas of Greater London. Also, there were the questions from the index to the hospital section. Actually, there was a separate hospital section in the previous book, which was the 17th edition of the book. Additionally, there were the questions from index to the station section. Also, there was a separate section of the stations. There was a separate actually section for the grid reference and page number of railway stations and bus stops. In the previous book, there was also a separate section of postcode maps and there were some questions regarding the postcodes of certain areas. Actually, the postcode of the areas were given and students were expected to find the name of the area for that postcode. Also, in the book portions, there were the questions from key to map page regarding motorways and junctions regarding counties which border London, regarding direction of the area from Trafalgar Square. Also, there were the questions which were actually the scenario-based directional or compass question. Now I will discuss the changes in the new assessment. There are still few sections regarding the book portion. But now students have reported me that TFL has stopped asking the question regarding postcode. Also, there is no more separate section for the postcodes in the new edition of the book. But even then, you could find the areas against the postcode. But I am not going to discuss the postcodes here as TFL is no more asking the questions about it in the exam as students have reported me. So let's move forward. In the previous edition of the Master Atlas of Greater London, there were separate sections of index to the streets, index to the hospitals, and index to the station. But now, in the new edition, all these sections have been merged and listed in the main index. The index section of the atlas now includes streets, places and areas, hospitals, industrial estates, selected flats and walkways, service areas, stations, and selected places of interest. Remember, hospitals and stations are now listed 
in the main index but these are highlighted in the different color please remember this now the stations are highlighted in blue color as shown in this slide and hospitals hospice walking center and all health related and services are highlighted in red color as shown in this slide now if you are asked to find the index of a hospital hospice or walking center or the index of any station you will have to find these indexes from the main in and you would not be able to find the separate sections for hospital and stations like in the previous edition of the book but now it has become very easy to find the hospitals and the stations as they have highlighted in different colors as i have shown in the in these slides the students please remember that the remaining portion of the questions again are still is the same that is there is no change in the questions from key to map pages regarding motorways and the junctions regarding counties which borders london regarding the direction of an area from the trafalgar square and also there is no change in the scenario based directional or compass questions and remember that the total time of the assessment is 90 minutes and the total marks are hundreds this is for the full assessment and you would be able to pass only if you get minimum 60 marks that is 60% is the passing marks dear students please remember that approximately 28 points are there to be addressed and remember all 28 points are not the questions about 6 to 9 points are just the instructions please see and read those instructions very carefully but remaining about 19 to 20 are actual questions again remember that there would there would be several sections in the assessment there would be the instructions before each section initially there would be some sections of general mcqs regarding grid reference and page numbers and key to map pages and total number of questions would be 17 and each question will be of worth one mark so the total marks will be 17 for this portion and please remember that the total marks for the book book portion are 25 so it covers only 25% of the total assessment in which 17 questions are mcq questions and there are still few questions regarding compass direction usually these are 3 to 4 questions and the total marks for the compass questions could be 8 so 8 plus 70 will be 25 so it covers 25% of the whole assessment and the remaining 75% of the assessment is regarding map drawing and that's the end of today's presentation hope you will find it very beneficial for you thank you very much